Hey guys, welcome. I'm just trying to get the link posted here for y'all so that you can hop online. So give me one second. I apologize that you're having to watch this part of the video. I wish I could go back in and edit out the whole front half, but I did want to go ahead and at least get y'all in so you could see what's going on and kind of just how I use a recruiting notebook. I'm hoping that the screen sharing is going to work today, uh, but I don't promise that. So if it's a flop, then we'll delete it and we'll try another day um, once I get this uh, all downloaded. But here is the, um, the new link. So if you guys want to hop on and join us, please feel free to do so. I'm not doing this on a conference call. Uh, as well but people can hop on and just um you know at least watch what's happening so all right well here we go you guys um i i hope that uh that we are i hope the screen sharing is gonna work so let's see what happens um and i don't believe it's going to so hang tight maybe this will work start screen share oh goodness that doesn't look right does it okay um, yeah, that's not going to work right. Okay, um, let me try one more thing, you guys, and then maybe that will work for us. Okay, um, you mean just one minute, please? I apologize, you guys. I haven't done the screen sharing before, and so it makes it a little more um, interesting. There we go. Okay, now let's see if this screen sharing works. So y'all are just going to have to hang with me here. I hope I'm even still online at this point. Um, and I don't know that I am. <laughs> My whole Google Hangout went away. All right. My goodness, you guys. I'm sorry. You can tell my camera is still on. So y'all are just going to have to bear with me for just a minute. All right. Let's see if it's working. All right, at this point. Um, and I don't know that I am. Okay, well, it's it's videoing me, but I don't think it's going to screen share like I want it to. Oh, goodness. I wonder why this is being weird. All right, let's turn that off and that. Um, let's see if I can do this. Okay. Hallelujah. Okay. <laughs> uh, my screen share is here. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay. So what I wanted to do was to um, basically just show you um, how, how to use your recruiting notebook. And I apologize. I just saved it on my desktop. So it's not even here now after all of that rigmarole to try to get it downloaded. And I think I just closed the whole page out. So y'all can just hang tight for one more sec. I'm so sorry. All right, let me try it again, you guys. Just go to hollylow.com. The screen share part of this app is a little random, so let's see if I can get it to work. Uh, there it is. Click here to print recruiting notebook. Okay, download. Sorry, y'all just hanging out with Holly on a beautiful rainy afternoon all right let's see if this downloads perfect all right let's see now all right and this is the blank edition that i'm giving you all today because i want you to actually do your own um i want you to cut out pictures um of what you want to add and uh just so you can kind of get the gist here today so okay so i'm gonna see if this works with my screen sharing um all right, let me try it. Just give me one sec, you guys, okay? All right, there it is. All right, start screen sharing. Okay. All right, let's see. Grant access to this application. Grant access. Okay. All right, I don't know if y'all can see or not. I sure hope that you can. Uh, but anyway, so um, basically what I do when I'm starting um, uh, a recruiting interview, if you will, okay, I have, um, I basically just have a notebook. I have my recruiting notebook. I have a notebook notebook, uh, a piece of, um, a piece of paper. Okay. Like this. Okay. I literally just have a notebook with me. Okay. And then I just write down, um, everybody's name that is sitting there with me. Okay. So if I have Mary, um, Joanne and Sue, 
Okay, I literally write their names down because what I'm finding is y'all know how to do a one-on-one -on -one interview, but the group interview is a little more frustrating, a little discouraging, whatever. Okay, so I write all of their names down when we start. And the first question I ask them is to say, thank you, Emory, for letting me know that you could see my packet. I appreciated it. I appreciate y'all responding. Um, okay, so the first thing I do is write down their name. And then my first question before I even open the packets, before I even do anything, I literally have it turned around, lay in there, and that's all I have. Okay, and I say, well, tell me why y'all think somebody would ever do Mary Kay as a career or a hobby. And they're going to say things like money, and whatever they say, I write under their name. So they're going to say money, um, flexibility. They're going to say um, that you love makeup. Um, they're going to say free stuff. And I literally write this sloppy and fast and just literally write down everything they say. Okay. All right. And so the next thing I do, let me turn the volume off because that's annoying, isn't it? Okay. Sorry about that. All right. Emory or somebody, we all text me and let me know if you can still hear me because I don't know if y'all can hear me now that I muted um, my line. So I hope so. All right. We're just going to keep going with it. Okay. All right. So after I find out the reasons that they um, think a woman would do Mary Kay, my next question to them is, uh, well, knowing that, uh, all right, we're going to go back to this notebook. Um, knowing that this is the reason basically a woman would start her business with us. Um, all of those reasons are valid, but I want y'all to look at, uh, this is Mary Kay Ash actually on the top front cover of our, of our notebook here. And these women all, all three of them, um, Mallory, Barbara, and um, Lisa, have all earned over $9 million in their career. And so money is the number one reason women join our company. And so um, one of y'all actually said that today. Actually, Mary, you said money, and that's exactly right. That's the number one reason women start our business. I started my Mary Kay business because, and on my page, you guys, I actually have, uh, I started my business because I was a college student. I was wanting to make an extra $50 a week, and I have a $50 bill. I have a college uh, thing on mine. I have uh, also the, um, the picture of Clemson University. I have an education thing on mine. So I just tell them why I got started um, and, and um, what I love the most about my business. So why I started, why did I say yes? I wanted uh, to make $50 a week to put gas in my car. I wanted to, um, you know, to just have extra money. And I thought the girls I went to college with would actually, they would want to do what I do. And um, they would want some product. I was in pageants and doing all that stuff. And so I thought this would be a great way for these girls to get the opportunity um, to buy products from me because I would be around them more. And so that's literally what I say next. Then I skip this whole page about the details of the business. You guys, this packet is copied because basically, okay, let me escape this screen. Okay, here I am. Okay, so this packet is copied like this because I'm gonna make copies of this in black and white and send it home with everybody to the part from the party. So when they listen to the facts about Mary Kay and they go home and now they have to tell it to their husband, they don't have to try to remember what I said, they're going to have it in front of them. And that page uh, number three is going to show them um, exactly uh, in a brief synopsis, if you will, my story um, and the, the reasons women start our company. Okay, so everything I go over today with them, they're going to see on page three of that recruiting notebook. Okay. All right. And so as we kind of hop around here a little bit, so I've already talked about why I started and then I literally skip, uh, I skip this page here. Um, okay, there we go. I skip this page here and the, I go straight into money. Okay. And what I say to them is, uh, you know, you guys, money is the number one reason women join our company. And then I, I don't even address anything on this page yet, but I do flip to that page. And the next thing I say is this, I show them this piece of paper and I say, there are two ways that we get paid as consultants. So the number one reason women join our company is for extra money. And there's two ways that we get paid. What would you guess are the two ways we get paid as consultants? And they will say uh, networking. They'll say selling product. They'll say handing out catalogs. They'll say meeting people. They'll say referrals. So what I do is I say yes, yes, yes. Okay, so sales is on one side, and that's one way. And what do you think is the second way that we earn income as consultants? And they'll say whatever. Okay, so they'll say recruiting. 
Okay, so sales and recruiting. And I'll say yes. Okay. So then I always talk about my party with Miss Linda Waters. I don't know why. I was there for two hours. It was a great party. Had lots of sales. It's just the one I tell about. Okay. So I actually uh, had a party with some ladies from my church. Um, I sold $1,400. And I was there for two hours. Okay. This is what I literally write on my paper. $1,400. I was there for two hours. My next question is the critical question. If you work for two hours in the real world, how much money would you put in your pocket? And they answer me, well, gosh, if you made $10 an hour, 20 bucks. If you made 15 an hour, you'd make 30. And I said, so if you work for two hours and I gave you $40, would you be super excited? And they're like, well, yeah, 20 bucks an hour is great money. And I say, well, guess what? In Mary Kay, we profit 50% of everything that we sell. So at Miss Linda's party, Miss Linda Waters party. Uh, I profited $700 was my money to keep. And the other $700 is how I ordered my Mary Kay. And I write this on the piece of paper, 700 you keep, 700 is how you order your Mary Kay. Cause I want them to understand, Hey, we order with half and we keep half. Um, and, and depending on what my audience is like, you know, if I have done a party with them just then and I handed them product, I would say, so half of what y'all bought tonight is my profit. The other half of the money that you spent tonight, I actually used to restock my shelf at my office so I can continue to give my customers their product. And they're like, okay, got it. So then my next question is this, what would you spend seven $100 bills on if I handed it to you tonight? Mary, what about you? You would pay bills. Okay. Great. All right, Joanne, what would you do if I gave you $700 bills today? You would save it. All right, got it. And Sue, what about you? Sue loves makeup. Sue would go shopping. She would buy shoes, purse. Awesome. Okay. So literally write down what they say. Okay. And then my next question is this. What if you made that $700 every week, every other week? every month, would you eventually do something fun? What would you do that was fun? And I ask them that because I need them to think a little differently than just the minimum barely get buys. Okay. And so they say things like, Oh, I would take a vacation. I would take a trip. I would take my grandchildren to Disney. I would save for um, a fun vacation here. I would go uh, buy a whole new wardrobe or I would dot, 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 dot. Okay. So they say all kind of different stuff. Okay. And that's what we do there. Okay. And then I say, this is the part that, that some of you forget about. So that's how we make money selling product. So that is the highest percentage we can ever make in Mary Kay. Even if we add a thousand people to our team, we will never make more than 50% in any other piece of our business. So really selling product, whether you're brand new or you've been in Mary Kay almost 15 years like me, um, I still love to sell product. It's crazy not to sell product, but here's the deal with selling product. Let's say, Mary, you sold $1,400 tonight at tonight's party. You put $700 in your pocket, right? What did you do with the other $700? You ordered your product from the company. Mary, when you place your product order to the company, the company sends me a paycheck. And it's called a love check. You know why? Because we love to get it. Okay? And Mary, you really, you made your $700 profit. You don't really care that I got paid or not because it doesn't matter because you had to pay for your products regardless, right? Yes. So Mary, here's the deal. When you sell product and you order product from Mary Kay and the company sends me commissions, that's my reward and my thank you for mentoring you and training you and helping you in your business. But guess what, Mary? If you don't get paid, I don't get paid. So it's such a brilliant way in our company for us as leaders. We cannot get where we want to go in Mary Kay until we help a lot of people make a lot of money. It's brilliant by Mary Kay Ash to set up our marketing plan this way because we can recruit thousands of people, but until people are making money, no one drives pink Cadillacs. No one moves up. No one wins trips around the world. So it benefits me, Mary, if I recruit you into Mary Kay and I let you join my team and I choose you, hey, you got what I'm looking for. You're somebody I'd love to work with, Mary. If I recruit you into Mary Kay, it benefits me to teach you and train you and help you be highly successful because that's the only way that I pay my bills in this business. Crazy, right? But it makes sense. So Mary Kay Ash always said, if you help enough people get what they want, you will get what you want. 
So I love that part of our money um, trail in Mary Kay. So I got to show you this. If we go back to, um, you know, I made fourteen sixty two a month as a school teacher, and people tell me that I was crazy for quitting teaching. Um, let me hop back to the notebook so y'all can see that. And and as a school teacher, you know, I was really, um, and we're on this page here. I made fourteen sixty two a month, and ten years later, my income was over twenty seven thousand dollars for the month. 10 years after I decided to resign from my teaching career. And you know, a lot of people told me that it was a really dumb idea, but I'll be honest with you. <laughs> I don't tell you this to brag or boast, but I just tell you that if you want to make serious cash in this company, you can, or if you just want to pay your light bill or you want to buy groceries with your Mary Kay money, it can be that too. So it is totally up to you. Now here's another thought for you. Right here on this page, I always love to put this in because our company is doing a promotion called Glow and Tell right now, where we really just focus on skincare. You know, so a lot of people come into Mary Kay and say, oh my gosh, Holly, I don't know how to wash, I don't know how to teach women how to do makeup, and I know how to wash my face. Great. If you can use a washcloth, as my husband say, if you can run a washcloth and you know how to use it, guess what? You can do Mary Kay. Why? Because we just have to teach people how to wash their face. So here's the deal. You can sell $34,000 in product just getting women to put product on their faces. If you just found 21 customers to use our Clear Proof, our Natural Botanicals line, our Miracle Set, and our Repair Set, just 21 friends, family, women that you know who already have skin, so you're not asking them to do stuff they're not already doing. If you can find just 21 to use our skincare line, guess what? your sales will be $34,000 just selling skincare. And 50% of that is your profit. So imagine people continuing to use our skincare year after year after year, and you're selling $34,000 in product to those women. Okay, now next, uh, the second reason women join our business is for number two, diamonds, prizes, cars, and trips. And I literally just write a number two on my notebook, you guys, okay? Um, and right here, so I literally just write the note, number two, right here, um, and I just write prizes. I always have a piece of paper. I can do it on a napkin. I can do it on anything, okay? Anything I want to use, I can use it here, okay? So let's go back to this so y'all can see what I have here. So uh, as far as this goes, you guys, it's basically just, uh, let me scroll through Captivating Color. That's just to get them to book their follow-up if you're using this at a party. So diamonds, prizes, cars, and trips. So whether you come into Mary Kay to make a little extra cash and you fall in love with the, the option to be able to earn diamonds, prizes, cars, and trips, purses, shoes, recognition, sashes, tiaras. Mary Kay knows what a girl wants, right? And so our car program is incredible because you can earn cars or cash, which is really fun. Um, and then um, you can also earn diamonds and trips and you know trips around the world. My husband and I have traveled all over the world. The girls that you see pictured here on the top left, these are my girls who picked up car keys at seminar this past year. And on the bottom left, I was able to award my office manager Tracy and her husband Jeremy with a trip to with a trip on a cruise. Uh, they had never been out of the country before and had never been on a cruise, and I was able to do that and to give away some prizes, um, which is one of my favorite favorite things to do. And so um, that's one of the reasons, you know, I love the prizes. I love the incentives. I love working hard for fun stuff, okay? And so here's the other piece of our car program that I think is pretty cool um, is that we get to um, we get to earn co company cars in our, in our business. And honestly, the value of not having a car payment for my family has been huge. Um, you can get $375, $500, or $900 cash a month or take the car. I'll be honest with you, I think it's crazy to take anything but a free car. Um, to not have that car payment and to be able to know that uh, every two years you're picking up a brand new free car, like, it's crazy. So let's think for just a minute what that really what that really uh, equates to as far as uh, what it looks like for us. So a Chevy Cruze, you guys, $18,000 for a car, college education for a child, um, family vacations for years, a down payment on a house, a nice retirement, um, a, a BMW, the payments, the car payments that you're going to save from that 
college education for one child, pay off tons of debt, a second vehicle, a nice retirement, um, college education for two kids with a Cadillac. Uh, you know, here's all of our cars, but the company pays your taxes, tax title, and a portion of your car insurance, which is such a blessing. You guys, at the end of the day, you know, the Diamonds, Prizes, Cars, and Trips are amazing, but why I love my Mary Kay uh, is because I get to be a mom to my children. I get to create a lifestyle for my kids and give them opportunities and financially am able to give them chances that otherwise in the real world they wouldn't have. Um, you know, if we need to, uh, you know, when Toby's a high school senior, if we need to move to Florida so that he can get uh, the correct scouting opportunities to play professional baseball, then that's what we're going to do. Or if we need to put him on an airplane and fly into New York uh, to, to be with one of Matt's um, good friends who uh, sets up scouting all over New York, and uh, or if, we, if he needs to fly to California to be with the number one Yankee scout, then that's what we want to be able to do. And financially, when you have the opportunities available for your kids it creates life-changing moments for them and mine you guys has pictures of my kids it has pictures of my sisterhood with Mary Kay with my national girlfriends and at the very bottom it has pictures of Greece uh, the Great Wall of China uh, Turkey all the places that we have traveled okay and and I get to show what I love about the business and last I just say you know what it costs a hundred dollars to start a Mary Kay business um, I don't know if every in a million years this would appeal to you but this is all the stuff that you get to get Okay, so we're looking for um, a good work ethic, that you care about people, and you have honesty and integrity. And if you have those three traits, then I want to work with you um, because I can teach you how to do all the rest. If you can, uh, if you can work a washcloth, then uh, you can be a Mary Kay director and drive a pink Cadillac. I promise. You just got to put this product on faces, and people will fall in love with this. So tell me, um, tell me what questions you have. And at this point, I just let her ask me questions. Literally, I just let her ask me questions. So whatever questions she might have, from um, you know, what am I going to do if I don't know anybody or whatever. Um, and if she doesn't ask me any questions, my next question is, well, tell me what question would you have to know the answer to to make a yes or no decision today? And she answers. And then I follow up with, okay, well, tell me, um, tell me what other questions you have. So I answer her questions. Tell me what other questions you have. And I just continue. Um, and then if I haven't really gotten a good gauge from her, then I ask her to rank her interest on a scale of one to four. And I choose one to four because I think if I give them to a 10, it confuses me um, because I don't really know what a, what a six is. Is it more of like a kind of, but not really? Is it, I don't know what that means. So one is no and four is yes. So you're either kind of no or kind of yes or yes or no. And I don't have to decide anything else in between. Okay, and so I just tell them, okay, well, rank your interest on a scale of one to four. One is I would never do Mary Kay in a million years if it were the last job on earth. Four is it's 100 bucks. I get $450 in product. Sign me up, girl. I want to try this and see what happens. Okay, and so then I just literally overcome their objections. Um, if she says I'm a four, I say, great. Well, let's go ahead and fill out your paperwork. Um, we're going to order your kit. Um, we're just going to um, order your kit. And then from there, we decide what you want to do. Some people want to come into Mary Kay and do a little. Some people want to come in and do a lot. So it's up to you. It depends if you want to just be a consultant selling product or if you want to come into our business and earn both income sales and team building. And we just decide once you get started what you really want to do. Okay. And then if she's not ready to make a decision today, I said, well, great. Tell me, are you a 24 hour decision maker or a 48 hour decision maker? Because one thing I know about women is when we leave, we really already know our decision. Um, sometimes we just feel like we got to stew on it for a little bit. So are there any questions I can answer for you to help you make a yes or no decision today? And if she says yes or no, whatever, um, I just say, well, great. I want to follow up with you. And uh, then I start the follow up process, which becomes a layer process, which means we may have to do lunch again. We have to talk over coffee, uh, whatever that looks like for her specifically. Okay. All right, you guys. So I just wanted y'all to know how I use this recruiting notebook. I literally just zoom through it, make black and white copies for your parties. Um, it literally costs you, uh, it's two cents for a color copy. It's 10 pages. Um, so it's, it's 20 cents a copy, you guys. Um, 20 cents a packet that you're paying to take these to your parties with you. So if you get people to stay after the party, at your skincare classes, you go through it in color, send it home with them in black and white if you choose. 
you want to do color, whatever, it's 22 cents a page at Office Depot. You guys have a great day. Um, I look forward to your questions. If you want to post them uh, on my um, website, my website's up and running. Uh, there were some little glitches earlier or whatever, but I just wanted y'all to know how I use a recruiting notebook. Have a great day.